Blah, 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 don't fall into the river. All right, guys, so we finally made it to when the children are basically grown as much as they will in the game. They're, you know, big enough to be walking around and talk to you and you can give them gifts and all that stuff. So that took until I think it's summer 16th and they were born well, uh, spring, I think spring 20th around that time of year four and it is now summer of year five. So they're finally, you know, up and walking around. You'll notice they look a lot like your spouse. So I'm pretty sure that happens no matter what, no matter if you're playing uh, the male character or the female character, I'm pretty sure the children tend to look more like the spouse. But anyway, here they are, all grown up. I love Xena's little braid. It's really cute, and that they have, you know, naughty silver hair. I think that's really adorable. Oh, good morning, Mama. Mama, guess what? We just went on a walk with Papa. Exciting. Hey, Boo. Echo and Xena have gotten big. And fast, too. I tried just walking, but those two dashed off in a hurry. Got a little scared when I almost couldn't keep up with them. I feel like they only learned to crawl just the other day. Kids, you really gotta keep an eye on them or you'll miss something. <laughs> I love you, Papa and Mama. Yeah, let's all be together forever. It's wonderful to see them both growing big and strong. I hope our family stays happy and healthy for years to come. Okay, so they should just be, like, walking around and stuff now. Like, I can just, you know, talk to them. And their favorite gift is pancakes. Um, so I made some of them. Their other favorite, well, pancakes are like their absolute favorite gift, and then uh, their liked gifts are egg soup and milk soup. They're very easy to make, but we're going to give them some pancakes because now you can like actually increase your friendship with them. No, I don't want to do that. What do you mean you don't want it? Why can't I give you a gift? What? That's so random. What do you mean I can't ignore you all the time and then give you a gift? That makes no sense. Like, I haven't... They've just grown up. You couldn't really talk to them when they were in the... in the bed. I mean, I didn't think you could anyway. That's super strange. Maybe I was supposed to be talking to them when they were... But I didn't think that that did anything. Oh, well, so my kids hate me, you know, whatever. It happens. But... Anyway, there are some more events if you have their hearts up. So... Hopefully we can do that so that we can see them. Alright, guys, so I figured out what the issue was. I guess you're supposed to actually talk to the kids uh, after they start crawling uh, to kind of build a little bit of a relationship with them. I didn't even know that that was really important. Because you couldn't really give them gifts, you couldn't really interact with them besides just like going up to the bed and talking to them. But I think that's important because if you don't talk to someone in your family for a long time, apparently they get really mad at you. And <laughs> then they won't accept a gift from you that day, but then the next day, if you give them a gift, then they're fine. So, you know, it's a little weird. But, yeah, so talk to your kids. <laughs> Uh, after the crawling stage is the moral of the story. So I've been working to get their hearts up. It is now winter of year five. And there are some events. I believe there are two. And I'm going to try to show you because people seemed pretty interested. So uh, the first one, you have to enter your house between 6 a.m. and 12 p.m. And you have to have at least 40 thousand friendship points with your kids which i believe equates to seven to eight hearts around there they have seven and a half so i'm really hoping that this works so we're gonna give this a try 
All right, it looks like it worked, good. <laughs> and it is the let's go on a picnic one. Yeah, I know it would, but your mama's job doesn't give her much time off, you know? She keeps herself pretty busy. I do, I'm a busy lady. Ah, oh, there you are, Mama. Can we ask you for a big favor? Yeah, we want to go on a picnic with the whole family. Sounds super fun, right? We could take some snacks with us in a picnic basket, and then we could all play together. But Papa says you're super busy and you don't get days off. Can't we go, Mama, please? Or are you too super busy? Actually, let's go right now. I think that's the best option. Really? We can, Mama? Yay! We're going on a picnic! Natty's, like, freaking out. Hold on, right now? You sure it'll be okay to skip out on work this afternoon? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, gotcha. It feels kind of sudden, but the kids will love it. Let's do it, then. Hey, Echo, Xena. Come help me get ready. We're going on a picnic. Yeah! That means we can go sooner. A winter picnic. Look at him go. <laughs> Tag, you're it, Xena. Did we not bring any food? Tag, I got you, Mama. Now you're it. Now we're fishing. In winter. <laughs> and I caught a boot. My luck. <laughs> that was the funnest day ever. Yeah, but I think I ran too much. I'm super tired now. It was still lots of fun, though. <sighs> Can't even remember the last time I played this hard. I guess I got a little caught up in the kids' excitement. But it's getting late and we should probably head back. Thanks for making the time to hang out with the kids today, babe. And hey, I had a good time, too. Going out with the family like this was a new experience for me. Thanks for playing with us today, Mama. Yeah, thank you, Mama. Let's go on another picnic someday. Okay, so that was the cute little picnic event. And there's another one. It has to be a sunny day. And I believe you have to go either into your house or onto your farm between 1700 hours and 1900 hours. So we're going to try to trigger that one today. If not, I'll just have to wait until another sunny day to do it, so. All right, so it looks like we got the event. So you just have to go onto your farm between 1,700 hours and 1,900 hours on a sunny day. So we get the welcome home event. Isn't Mama here yet? We've been waiting so long. Mama's going to be home soon. I just know it. Hey, Mama's home. Hey. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, home is better than work, Mama. Mama, guess what? Today, Xena and me went outside and caught bugs. <laughs> totally caught the most. I'll catch more next time. At least I'm not going to get so caught up chasing one bug that I fall into the river and get soaked. Bubba got really mad about that. 
Hey, that's supposed to be a secret. Why, Papa already said he's gonna tell Mama about it later. Yeah, but... That was dangerous, children. And I'm gonna lecture you. Blah, 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 don't fall into the river. I know it was dangerous and I could have gotten hurt. I'll be more careful next time, promise. Good. Mwah. It looked like Stu was just like rubbing his head. <laughs> Mama, guess what, guess what? I was a good girl all day. Isn't that great? I will pat your head too. Or rub your head, whatever. Parenting. I'm good at it. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Me too, I love you too, Mama. I think my children are robots. They're too well behaved. I know, let's race all the way home. Whoever wins gets to play upsie daisy with Mama. But what if Mama's first? Then Mama gets a stiff drink. Um. Or Mama gets to play upsie daisy with Daddy. And you and me will both play upsie daisy with Mama. Um, we can't lift Mama up, even together. Um, okay, we'll both give Mama a big hug. How about that? Oh, and a shoulder massage, too. You're like four. <laughs> That's a great idea. Everybody, ready, set, go. Cheater. Oh, no fair. Wait for me. All right. So I believe that is all the events you can get uh, with the kids. They're very cute and... It's just frustrating that it takes so long to get some of these events, but, you know, it happens. So, yeah, that is it for Story of Seasons. I feel like I've pretty much shown everything in the game, and it has been a long time coming. Uh, I've been playing this game since April of 2015, and it is now... October of 2016. Uh, it's been a long time. I need a break. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys for sticking with me for 85 episodes. That's kind of insane. I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting, sharing, liking, all that stuff. It's really, really helpful. And I really appreciate you guys doing that. Uh, a lot of people have asked about the next Story of Seasons game. Definitely going to be playing it the minute it comes out. That is not going to be until the end of February, however. I believe it's February 27th, I think, is when it comes out in the U.S. It may be pushed back, you know, as games oftentimes are. Hopefully it's not, but we'll be playing that the day it comes out, promise. And Stardew Valley just got updated, so we're going to be heading back to Stardew Valley on Wednesday nights for our chill streams. So you have a little bit of Harvest Moon-esque kind of games. People have asked about Rune Factory and people have asked about other Harvest Moon games. Yes, I will be playing them. However, it is probably going to be a little while. I really need a break, but eventually you will be seeing more of those on the channel. So thank you guys so much for your constant support. It means a lot. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up for this whole series of Story of Seasons. Thanks for sticking with me, and I will see you in my next video.